Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. Melinda Gates divorced lawyers represented Donald Trump's two former wives. 2. In the case of George Floyd, Derek Chauvin is seeking a new trial. The United States Melinda Gates divorce lawyers represented Donald Trump's two former wives. One of Melinda Gates' divorce attorneys previously worked for Ivana Trump and Marla Maples, former President Donald Trump's first two wives. Melinda Gates retained three attorneys in her divorce from Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, including Robert Cohen. The couple announced Monday that they were ending their 27-year marriage after a great deal of thought, according to a statement from Bill Gates. According to legal consulting firm Chambers & Partners, Cohen has advised former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, Sopranos star James Gandolfini, comedian Chris Rock, actress Uma Thurman, and Charlotte Sarkozy, the former French president's in-law. Cohen is a founding partner at Cohen Claire Lands Grafer Thorpe and Rotten Street LLP in New York City. He's also taught a course at the University of Pennsylvania Law School called Anatomy of Divorce. In a bio provided to Chambers and Partners, Cohen said he resolves the most sensitive and important disputes quietly, efficiently, and without publicity or fanfare. Bill Gates' Monday statement has asked for space and privacy as the divorce is negotiated. Ivana received $14 million, a 45-room home in Greenwich, Connecticut, an apartment in Trump Plaza, and one month at Mar-a-Lago per year as part of the settlement. Since Maples was bound by a confidentiality clause as part of her divorce from Donald Trump in 1999, nothing is known about what Cohen was willing to settle. Bill and Melinda Gates never signed a prenuptial agreement, instead opting for a separation contract that will outline how their property will be split up. The United States in the case of George Floyd, Derek Chauvin is seeking a new trial. According to court papers filed by his attorney on Tuesday, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin is demanding a new trial in the death of George Floyd. Chauvin was found guilty of accidental second-degree murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter by a jury only weeks ago. According to Chauvin's lawyer, the court made many mistakes in handling the case, including abuse of discretion that robbed the defendant of a fair trial, prosecutorial and jury misconduct, legal failures at trial, and a decision that is contrary to law. While the request for a new trial does not include any specific examples of jury misconduct, the filing repeatedly argues that the court failed to shield jury members from the publicity surrounding the trial. The filing comes amid a dispute involving one of the jury members, despite the fact that no jurors are named in the paper. Juror Brandon Mitchell can be seen wearing a shirt that says get your knee off our necks in a picture taken at a march in Washington, D.C. last August. Mitchell stated in his juror questionnaire that he had not participated in any demonstrations against police brutality. Mitchell said on Monday that he went to the march to encourage people to vote in the 2020 election. Chauvin is now awaiting sentencing on the charges. Second-degree murder carries a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison in Minnesota. Third-degree murder has a maximum sentence of 25 years in prison, and second-degree manslaughter has a maximum sentence of 10 years. While Chauvin's sentence could be reduced due to his lack of a criminal record, prosecutors have added a number of aggravating factors that may lengthen his sentence. The date of his sentencing hearing is set for June 25. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.